My ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Up on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Might as well just have left me to walk. Well, safe travels anyway. Just can't never get a break. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? 
To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Nearly you've recovered ah. from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah. Must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. You've got binoculars, don't you? <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. Come on, get on and let's head back. problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Slow down, you'll burn out the horses. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. They shone like silver. Blow, bully boy, blow. And who do you think was a skipper? Blow, boy, blow. Oh, dandy Jim from old Carolina. Blow, me, bully boy, blow. And what do you think they had for dinner? Blow, boy, blow. Oh, monkey's lights and donkey's liver. Blow, me, bully boy, blow. Like ten got their way. What do you 
Javier, I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. The best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Let's go, girl. Ha! and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders. Especially on their turf. Well, oh, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Now, oh, big place, right? You got your binoculars? Pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe use hunt a pig this time once, Mal. Creepers, man, don't score notions of the dicky Fleming's head. Just stay quiet. 
Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes, I was. You can hardly get all an hour day long, because Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? Place else that could store it. Hey Arthur, give me a hand here. Do you want the money or not? Come on. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good.
Hello there. That horse doing all right? I'm happy to stable that for you. Sounds good. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. Welcome back, mister. Have a look around. Let me just look in here. Reminder, we is a cash-only business. No credit. Seem a bit taken with that. That's done. I sell out of that pretty fast. Appreciate it. That's a fine item right there. Those go pretty fast. Ain't no point in being cheap, huh? That's mighty popular these days. Those go pretty fast. Taking a shine to that, huh?
seem to have your eye on that. All right. Can I get you anything else? Look around. But too much. You? I woke up in the middle of nowhere. Messy. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I, I messed up with my clothes. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. We got that before. Hey! We got a well-stocked larder, Mr. Morgan. Good. Yeah, life is good. We are out of this. We need to... At least for now. Good health. Escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some good money and...
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.